Debian 13 is out and I want to see how good it actually is. But I don't want to remove my Debian 12 from my computer and then reinstall everything because Debian 13 is full of bugs. So what I did, I installed Debian 13 using product desktops on a Mac M4. Now I know on the computer I have x64 and on this one I'm going to install ARM. But I still wanted to give it a try and stuff like this. And to be see, you know, how good is actually ARM in today's world. So let's jump into the video and let's see what we see. Okay, so we're going to install Debian 13 on a VM in macOS. I'm going to use parallel desktop to install it. I'm going to click continue. Customize before installation. So I'm going to give it 4 GB processor and we're going to give it 4 cores. This storage 64, probably that's more than enough for me. And here we are. We're going to go with graphical installation because it's the easiest way. So like this, we will have it perfectly. So British keyboard. The graphical installation, they, they, it does look the same like the old one. It's just the font a little bit, the color here on the Debian 13 is a little bit different. Bad. Why is it bad? Debian 13. Username TFL. Password, something super secure. So use entire disk. This is the only one. Yes, finish. Yes, and now it's installing. I'm really curious to see because I, I saw some really good things about the Debian 13 operating system. And since I'm a Debian fan, and to be completely honest with you, Debian was the first Linux that I ever used in my life. Debian was my first operating system that I installed. Never had any uh, any experience with nothing. I just installed Debian and go from there. And I love how I managed to you know customize and stuff like that. Make it feel my. I actually made it feel like macOS. I don't want to participate. So oh, okay. So I want GNOME. GNOME is my NKDE. So GNOME is the first interface that I ever used in my life in Linux. And I have a, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It have a sweet spot in my heart, you know. GNOME has a sweet spot in my heart. And for me, it's, it's my favorite one. You know, it's, it's different. The rest of them, KDE, for example, it's, I like it, but I don't know. It's same interface like a, like a Windows 7, for example, and stuff like this. GNOME, it's different. Maybe it's because I, I'm a big fan of macOS operating system. Well, not a big fan, but the, the interface, how it looks and stuff like that. So probably that's why. Always drink water. Just a heads up, this is the ARM version because I'm having an M4. So this is the ARM version of Debian 13. Now ARM, you will have some limitations over there. There's not a lot of application that works for ARM. To be fair, Linux, Linux support for ARM, the operating system, they are trying to exist and stuff like this, but then the applications, you, you're very limited. So it's kind of, you know, one of those things. But we will see what we can do with it. We will test it. I'm going to see the new design, if there are any new designs. Okay, so now we're going to reboot. And technically speaking, now, yeah, we're starting in Debian. I hope that the drivers, okay, yeah, now, now the drivers are installed. So, okay, we're having driver, we're having everything in the VM. So that is good. That was fast. So password so welcome to debian 13 Tracy. if you want to learn your way around check okay take the tour let's see let's begin it's an overview powerful search to search just start typing the overview you can okay still gonna have workplace wow okay this is good because i actually have a trackpad from apple a magic trackpad so three fingers well three fingers is going on the mac OS. okay yeah that's going on so i can't test it in the Ah, oh, I, I hate this. So first, please excuse me while I, where is it? I don't have it. Okay, please excuse me while I'm making uh, GNOME how I want it, but why I don't have it? It's, it says it's installed. Oh, okay, yeah, it's here. So first thing what I do is I always check this and now I'm going to install extension manager and put my super secure password open. Uh, we can see we have some glitches here. And here I'm going to search for doc. So it's dash to doc and dash to doc 
Oh, not this one. Dash to dock animation. Now, this is my dock. This is how I want to use Debian. Okay, so. Not a lot of things change here, to be fair. So, let's see what we have here. So, weather. Let's see how the weather. Search for a city. London. United Kingdom. Okay, so like a basic is nothing. Has nice interface, but nothing special about it. Will Casa OS work on this thing? Because Casa OS is, this is why I love Debian, because with Debian you could make, uh, you know, you can keep your operating system, but also make like a server. So run like a server. So let's try terminal. So sudo apt update. Let's make sure there's nothing. It shouldn't be because it's, uh, sudo apt curl, but I'm pretty sure, sudo apt, um, my apologies, install curl, but I'm pretty sure it won't be available, yep. And now once we paste this one, I'm really curious to see if it's gonna work because Casa OS with ARM, I never, well, I never tested on ARM, but oh yeah, because it, it runs on Raspberry Pi, so technically speaking, it should be able to work. Now, while this one is doing, let's see what else we can find here. So in system we have parent control, oh, system monitor. Oh, I love this. I don't know if this was available in Debian tool, but I never saw it, but I love this. For me, characters, what's this? Oh, really? Oh, okay, so you can add like symbols and everything. Oh, that's super cool. Let's try something from software because most of the apps that I try, let's try play. And what are we taking? Atomic tank which there's no screenshot. That's fine. Let's let's install Atomic Tank. Open. We must select a list of players. Oh, okay. Press any key to continue. What's going on? Okay. What? And that was Atomic Tank. Good game. So, having the beer, I won't go and wait. What? And you can see that it's in beta. So we're having to keep this one here. Let's focus on, let's minimize. So I'm really curious to see if this one is going to work. If it's going to work, which it should be, then you can make your Mac with a uh, server with Debian and also run Debian. After that, I want to see the new KDE Plasma because uh, I was told that they're having some really good things on it. I wasn't a big fan, but yes, it works. So TFL put a password. So here it is. We have our storage. We have everything. Will apps work? Install. Okay. Well, this one, let's go into settings. Let's see if they change anything here. So the thing that I saw, this is in light mode, but if you go up here and choose dark style, you get everything in dark mode. So for example, now everything here, it's in dark mode, which uh, big fan and not a big fan, up to you. So we have display, I'm only getting, hey, this is a 144 monitor, but okay. Multitasking, hot corner, active, dynamic workspaces, appearance. Oh, okay. So I have, oh, so they're trying to take, so pictures. So if I change, yeah, the picture is checking, it's changing with it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I pretty sure they didn't have this in, in the past. Mouse and trackpad. See, this is the thing, cause I'm using a virtual machine. I can't really test everything cause it will go directly to Mac OS. Here is the thing. Okay, so this is still installing. Why? Uh, previous tabs, I don't know which previous. Oh, okay, this side. So continuing the background. And let's try, I don't know, actual budget. Oh, Jellyfin. Let's try to install Jellyfin as well. Starting, 80% already. This is good. Why it's Jellyfin already installed, but image is still installing. Okay. So Jellyfin works. Image. Image works. So probably that's a bug that's expecting to install, but it's installed already. This is good. Now let's try going to KDE. 
and let's see what they have there so for you for those of you who doesn't know how to go change interface if once i click on my username here on the right corner you have these dots and now you select which one you want you put your password and it will load into the new design so welcome so next and the desktop so far so guys okay powerful tools that you need kitty connect on your phone and your computer oh will it work with mac OS? discover so this is the share okay never mind enjoy why is it if you look at the bottom here do you have like a missing space whoa this is so cool i'm not gonna lie this is cool so every single time when i'm pushing Paint. I like that. So if I make it full screen, it goes down. Once I make it back, goes up. Okay, this is cool. The thing is that I'm not a big fan of this, uh, how you should call it. I'm not a big fan of this interface here, like the mouse and everything. So if I go into graphics, internet, this is the thing. I'm not a big fan of this, but what can we do? Let's check. We have the time here. This is just a normal thing. I, I'm expecting that when this fully comes out a lot of people are going to install it because it's a debian for me i think is one of the most secure and stable operating system when it comes to linux so i'm expecting a lot of people are going to install it so let's try this video we just okay everything was perfect so move the camera here 4k my problem is i want to install an app so here is discover it's not software i want to install an app to see if it's actually running oh this one is already installed welcome okay it does okay so on an arm processor which is very good let's try a different one all applications and for edit let's try installing this one put my password i don't know Torrent for sure it will work let's go to something like graphics 3d virtual world okay so we're having free applications right now installed now my problem is i have a recent because with all the respect i didn't check the name so in graphics i should have this one and it works well i think it does i don't see nothing here but i also don't know render okay so this was my biggest fear because well, QB torrent this one for sure will work. To be fair, it works really well. Keep in mind that I'm, I'm in a virtual machine and it works, it works really, really well. Again, Debian for me is the most stable one on the market. So when Debian 13 is going to be released, I don't think there will be a competition for it. Personally, I really don't think there will be a competition for it. But yeah, this is look around on the new Debian logout. And if you want to use Debian the proper way, this is how it should look like. You have the dock and everything here. Okay. <laughs> I've, even Debian is saying this is not the correct way to use it. But, oh, okay, now it's back, is it? No, now it's crashed. Well, it's not crashed. It's just my dock doesn't work. So here it works. So let's open. I can't even open a thing. Oh, come on. Firefox. Animation works. But that's about it. So yeah, clearly it has some bugs, but at least we know how it looks and how it works. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you're going to install Debian 13 when it came out. I, I probably will update it as soon as it comes out. I have on my uh, desktop computer, I have a Debian 12 operating system which i'm using the day-to-day -day and play some games and stuff like this so debian 13 yeah you will you will be updated as soon day one that it comes out yeah let me know if you guys are going to do the same and i'll see you guys in the next one